You have to invest if you want to restore balance to the world. Olga. Hey. Happy Friday. Friday. <laughs> so we're doing a quick video today, uh, kind of chatting about uh, different areas where people are getting information right now. Um, we've had a couple of clients that are relying heavily on the advice of their financial advisors and bankers, which was the first for me, right? Yeah. Um, but Here's the thing, uh, you know, I, I really kind of question their motive at times when your financial advisor or your banker is telling you that you should wait to rent for the next, I don't know, two to five years. Because of the interest rate. Yeah, that doesn't make any kind of sense to me. So guys, uh, if you have people, if you have a good amount of money saved up, whether it's with your financial advisor and it's invested for you or... Uh, sitting in a bank account at a bank, if you have people that are telling you that you should continue to rent and keep your money invested right now where, I don't know about you, but when I'm getting my uh, 401 statements or my investment statements That's for scary. the last year has not been a positive venture, right? And, no, and I'm not worried about it. I mean, I think you have to be diversified in a way of you, you're invested in real estate, you're invested in stocks. But I have not been making money no. in the stock market. Not okay? for the best year, no. No. So if your financial advisor or your banker is telling you to keep your money invested right now instead of putting it into a down payment in real estate, I think it's probably time to change uh, Bank. banks or financial advisors. Would you not agree with me? I would totally agree. I mean... The absurd amount of calls that I get and the questions, well, my financial advisor said that I'm better off renting. So take five years, say you rent 2200 for example. How much money are you throwing away in five years? Over probably $150,000. Close to that, yeah. Yeah, so that's like literally taking that money, it's gone. There's no return on that money whatsoever. Your stocks, if you have a good financial advisor, probably moved it so where you don't lose as much. It just kind of sits there. But why would you just want to have it sit there and not grow at least 4 or 5%, 10%? I mean, past and real years estate, yeah. Thing. Well, I just think, again, a lot of people forget that some of these firms, they make money off the amount you have invested with them, right? Yes, it's, it's their paycheck. Yeah. <laughs> so they're making a percentage, you know, if let's say you have 100 grand with them, they make a percentage of 100 grand. If you have a million dollars with them, they make a percentage of that. So if you're taking that money out and putting a significant amount of money down for a down payment on a, on a real estate purchase, their commission goes down, right? But, but again, I think at the end of the day, you know, use more than one source uh, for, for advice, for guidance, right? Um, because, yes, the interest rates are higher than what we're used to right now. But that's also putting a lot of people on the sidelines, right? Like, it always cracks me up when people are like, um, you know, the market, I'm going to wait for the market uh, to cool off. Well, it, it ha well, first of all, market. this is cooled off con for us, yeah. right? Considering, Considering yeah. it's cooled off. So you want to wait till the interest rates go down, let's say, to 5 5 5.5%, but then you're bidding a hundred grand over list price, right? And competing yeah. with 10, 20 other people because you have the same mass mentality that says, I want to buy when everyone else is buying. Totally. You know, and I think, I mean, again, I've, I, I get very passionate about this because... Yeah, I'm like sitting there like... Dating. Because I've had so many of the same conversations with our clients, some of them for years on end, that still rent, right? Like, you, you're never going to time the market perfectly, but the people ultimately that have bought houses, sold houses, bought houses, sold houses... 
Yeah, that's appreciate. majority of their money comes from real estate transactions. Yeah, I can vouch for that. Right? Yeah. I absolutely. mean, you and me, uh, you know, I always, and I don't mean to sound like, like bitchy, which sometimes I can't be, but if you're financial advisor, if you're banker, if you're realtor, your lender don't own real estate, don't own rentals, they probably shouldn't be advising you on investing in real estate. Right? Amen. Amen, sister. Amen. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs>